Hello friends, welcome to Techless Lab and today we are going to take a look at this cheapest portable table fan that I found. It's a rechargeable telescopic portable electric fan. That's what it says on the on the box. Here is the box and all it says is that it has a strong wind, it is foldable, detachable and it has 3 gear regulation and it operates quietly in their own Chinglish language. There is nothing in this box except for a charging cable and the fan itself. And what I do really like about this is how you can adjust its position to whatever the way you want. The only thing that I don't really like is that it cannot be turned. So if you have wanted to turn its head you have to turn the whole fan but that's okay for a personal table fan. As soon as you turn this on you'll understand that this is the cheapest variant that you can get for this same model. As you can see they didn't even bother putting the LED channels for the three indication lights. There are three LEDs inside which I'll show you later but they didn't even put the channels for the LEDs so you can see which level it's in. The second obvious thing is that it's too weak even in its third level. So I immediately opened the back to check for the battery and I found one of the strangest thing that I have seen recently. They put a 14500 adapter inside an 18650 slot. They did not even put those uh, battery connectors and they uh, directly spot welded the battery to the wires. And this is not the case with the products you'd order directly from AliExpress. As you can see from the user reviews on AliExpress, they actually got the ones with the actual 18650 battery. And do not worry, the fan did not change the color. I bought two of them so that we can have a little fun with them. So how worse can it get? I actually charged the battery that came with this one and it showed up only 300 milliamp hours. That's really bad. But that still should not impact the fast fan speed at least when the battery is fully charged to 4.2 volts. So there is something wrong with it. As expected, even after changing the battery to a newer 18650 battery with a much larger capacity and which fits perfectly well in the slot obviously, still the fan is too slow. So we have to open up the shield and also the propeller to see the motor itself and I found a simple cheap DC140 motor and which also seems to be out of the place because there is a slot for a much bigger motor in here probably a custom one that runs well at a 5 to 9 volts but they just cheaped out on a even on the motor. We know this motor is pretty weak but I'm pretty sure it's not this weak so we have to check the control board here. So upon testing the control board voltage, on first level it shows me 1.43 volts, on second level it shows me 2.2 and on third gear it shows me 2.7 volts. That's really bad. Why you may ask? Because the motor inside, the DC140 motor can take up to 6 volts of voltage. So the 2.7 that this board is pushing out is less than half of what it can take. And here is the original board that I found. It actually pushes up a stepped up voltage of 5 volts, 7 volts and 9 volts appropriately at 1st, 2nd and 3rd gears. That's plenty of power to run a small motor. And this is the perfect example of why I always recommend you guys to buy the product directly from AliExpress and from a reputed seller. Because these local sellers from our countries, they usually seek a much lower version, much cheaper version so that they can get a much bigger profit. As in this case, this particular seller ordered a product that has been stepped down so much that a lot of it is wrong with it. This is the reason why I do not blame Chinese for this. They can make a same product for $1 or for $100 depending upon the requirements. They are actually pretty intelligent at that. So finally if you see a listing for a fan like this and if you think the price is too good to be true then I'd say avoid it. And if you do want a one with real speed and functionality then I'd recommend getting it from uh, official Chinese sites like AliExpress or Banggood from reputable sellers. So I did modify one of the fans with the components that I bought and you can see the difference for yourself. The white one is the modified one which throws air for up to 5 feet without any issues. The stock one does not even blow air after 1 feet of distance. So take caution when purchasing cheap products like this. Do like or dislike this video so that I will know how you feel about this video. And if you did enjoy this short video then maybe subscribe to see more. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.